We're working on the second sign today. We've pretty much got all of it stripped off, just a little bit of work to do on the flashing. But uh, yeah, right on again, I had to pull the camera out though, just to, just to show you this bolt. What the hell is going on there? There's some skilled trades worked on this building, let me tell you. So I've been a busy beaver, hacking away at some uh, Euro pallets that we had. I think I've chopped up five, and that's given me enough pallet wood, as you can see, to make both of the signs. So that's the stack to do the biggest sign, which is 5.7 metres. And then we've got more here and more here. And, wow, well, using the recip saw, reciprocating saw to cut through the nails. Well, I don't know why I never thought of that before. It's an absolutely blinding idea. So I've been testing out some colour options for the back. And that's like a dark brown stain, which I don't think works. But just some watered down black acrylic. Big, big fan of the acrylic at the minute. I think that looks spot on. So I think we're going to do that. Coat the whole of the board once it's together. And then give it a hit with some varnish. Spray it with some varnish to seal that acrylic in. And then mount the letters to the side of it. So if I just grab one of the letters... So we're going to have this. Looks more orange, doesn't it, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, that colour against the black, I think, will look spot on. I, I do. I think that's the way to go. I was talking to Gemma about it yesterday, and she thinks painting the wood isn't a good idea. But to be honest, you can still see the grain through it. And I think it'll look tip-top. So that's what we're going to do. Because the front of the pub's black, you see, I thought a huge chunk of brown pallet wood up there would look just out of place. So I decided not to go down that route. So what I have to do now is cut these out, lay them out into groups. I'm going to tooth them kind of like this so they're all staggered and lay them into uh, groups like that and then when I fit them together they should just interlock seamlessly so I need to have a play how that's going to look first then we're going to bolt them together turn them over and hit them with a the sander before I finally bang some of the paint on them that's the paint we've got over there look this is the uh, Mars Black System 3 acrylic so yeah, that's what we're going to have a play with. Wow. Just been listening to the news at 7 o'clock. The uh, Perseverance lander is going to touch down on Mars tonight. So I'm going to go home and watch that, I think. Because I believe they're live streaming it. Anyway, I digress. Here is Pallet Wood Central. Let's zoom out a little bit and have a look. So... This is how I'm going to put them up, uh, in small sections like this, you can see where the next one is going to kind of tooth into the board. To hold the board together along uh, the width, or length if you like, I've put some pocket hole screws in there, and that is kind of just, you know, clamping all the boards in position, so they are smooth and flattened relatively level on the front side which is why I laid it on this piece of ply and can press them all down and get them flat I've hit them with a the sander before I put them on because I thought well it makes more sense doesn't it there we go there's a good example so the next board that comes up at the side of it will just tooth into that and it'll look like a joint like that so uh, it will look seamless once it's up and then we're going to have to paint it in black. And that is where the test is going to be. I think it will look spot on. I'm tempted to put it on tonight. So we can see what it looks like dried tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do that actually. Let's do it. So I want it to go on fairly runny. Champion pot noodle tub of course. 
So I've got probably about 50 ml of water in there, way more than what paint I'm going to use. Like We're going to go with like a 3 to 1 water I think. And then we'll put some of this black acrylic in the bottom, just like that. And then I have a little stick to mix it. There we go, that's looking quite grey actually, which is probably a good thing, huh? Talking of the Mars Lander, Mars Black. I do like them apples. Right, that feels like it's gone. Oh, it's quite a bluey tint, isn't it? Anyway, we're diving straight in, boys and girls. No fear. No fear. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Frame it. Might help. Oh, what do we think? I think once it's dry, it's going to look fine. For all of you out there panicking. <laughs> I don't really think there's anyone panicking, is there? But you've all got absolute confidence in my abilities of just cracking on with it, regardless. Never done it before. Let's just do it. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? We just have to throw it in the bin or set fire to it, don't we? So I actually like that. You can see it's already starting to dry. That's the good thing about these acrylic paints. Let's just get this edge on there. I'll have to make sure I come back and do the edges as well. I think the end grains are going to be visible. So I don't want them to be missed out because it look odd. Right, I'm going to put the camera down because this is uh, weird. And we'll come and have a look when I've done this. Oh my goodness. What do you think? I bet there's loads of people going to jump into the comments saying, Oh, you've ruined that beautiful looking palette. Wood. <laughs> They're not, folks. It's got to match the black on the front of the pub. Otherwise, it'll stand out like a sore thumb. It'll look daft. But when this acrylic has dried, as it is doing here, and it's been hit by sunlight, which it will be, you will notice the grain. It will still look like pallet wood. It'll just be quite dark, pallet wood. And then that accompanied with the bright gold or orange <laughs> letters that we're going to be putting on there. We're going to have a real contrast of colours and it'll stick out, it'll stand out, not stick out. It'll stand out and look fantastic, I hope. Or I could be just uh, talking out of my gizzard and uh, yeah, I have just ruined some beautiful pallet wood. Celebi. Anyway, that's taken up another 15 minutes of my time. So, according to Jeremy Beadle, you know, uh, a lot of people say he's got a tiny penis. But on the other hand, <laughs> I suppose if you're not from the UK and you don't know who Jeremy Beadle is, that's a wasted joke, isn't it? Uh, right, yeah, I'm going to go home. and must remember to bring another drill tomorrow. I've got an impact driver. I need to bring that because I'm sick to death of changing over from drill bit to drive a bit. And I'll leave this overnight to cure and we'll come back by the magic of YouTube video. Have a look at it tomorrow. <laughs>